Um, so we're back with our So It's Christmas uh, videos and today we're going to be talking about Point Turner. Uh, this is one of my I Can't Live Withouts in my sewing room. So you use this bit to turn when you turn out your um, bodices, you can poke out your corners with this little bit. But the best part of this thing is this little u-shaped thing here which um, I use as a hump jumper um, and what is a hump jumper you ask well I'm about to show you so you know on your bodices or really on any part of um, your sewing where your seams get really quite thick so this is just this is a tea party that I'm top stitching down so this bit here the seams are quite thick now I'm just going to put you down for one second and then, whoops, that's gonna, I'm not going to be able to put you down. Okay, sorry. And then I'm going to take this bit and put it in, un, um, okay, so... I'll put it in under my foot and I'll bring you up over here so you can have a look. So this part's the hump jumper, the U-shaped bit is under here and my needle is in my fabric, right? Now I'm going to try and sew one-handed. Because usually, so the idea is that usually you go, when you go over these thick seams, the thread, um, your stitch kind of reduces its size because it gets caught up. So, this takes that away. Oops, this is not going to be neat because I'm not very good at one-handed sewing. Okay. I'm going to pop you back down again so I can finish the rest of this and then I can take it off and show you. I'm making this dress with a zip if you're wondering why my bodice is uh, overlocked on the edge. So there's a zip going in there. So you can see that on my oops on my seam line here, sorry, where my seams are, there's no pulling in the threads. It just goes, it keeps the same sort of um, thread length, stitch length, sorry, and it's nice and neat. And I hope that helps. But that's yeah, the hump jumper is definitely my favourite part. Hi again ladies, um, I'm back with So It's Christmas video and this is part two of the hump jumper. I'm going to actually show you how to attach one of these lace um, zippers which are very pretty. So, you'll notice that I have just overlocked my inside backs. Um, I actually cut three eighths of an inch off each side to account for the zip as well. Uh, sorry, account for the um, the overlap. Um, so what I've done is I've just pinned my zip to the back, and then I've marked out where my zip ends on both sides of my dress. And then I'm going to take this bit out put my backs together and I'm going to start sewing at that point where the zip ends. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to make my seam where the zip ends and go all the way down to from there. Where's that Oh, bunny, don't play 
play with the scissors. What's that called? Yeah, it's a scissors. Don't worry about it. What's that called? That's a pen. Do what? What is it? That's also a pen. Alrighty. Um. What's that called? So then. What you need to do is head over and press that all. It's it's a and press all of these bits sort of flat and out of the way. And then what you're going to do, so you flip your dress inside out. We'll pretend that I've ironed my seams, but obviously I haven't. So that will then be pressed on the inside. You're going to take your zip and flip this bit over the top there and then glue or baste it down and then basically whoops sew it all the way down so you'll do your big u shape you'll sew down across and up and of course these bits will be folded in because they're in line with the seam so you zip sorry I'm trying to show you this while I'm actually doing it um, your zip will sit just in there and of course it'll end where you've put your zip end mark and then these bits are going to just flip over on the inside of your zip okay I hope that makes sense I'll try and do some photos as I go to add to the blog post as well. Alright, bye for now.